everybody, this is Emma and Sam from Podopedia and today we're going to talk to you about calluses. Yeah, callus, basically that hard skin that you get on your feet, under the balls of the feet, the heels, around the toes. It affects some people more than others, some people it becomes really painful, it can split. Mm -hmm. Other people it's just a bit of an unsightly thing and an annoyance. More cosmetic. So it's technically sort of a thickening of the skin in response to pressure um, or torsional stresses and strains on the skin. This is um, often caused by um, tight footwear. It can also be caused by bony prominences. So sometimes you've, you've got some bony prominences either on the side or coming out of the bottom here. Um, and your metatarsal bony heads are quite um, pointed anatomically. So you can get areas of pressure under there and you're probably, well, the most common, personally, I think the most common callus we find is under the second let head. Yeah, that's usually due to some sort of dysfunction with a big, big toe joint like yeah. a, a bunion or, or something right. like that. Absolutely. Also around the heel, particularly in the summer, we see loads of people with splits yeah. around their heels as well. And that causes loads of pain when they when they sort of actually splits open. Sometimes they bleed, yeah. um, can, can even lead to infections. So Absolutely. how can you help yourself? Well, oh. the best thing to do is File when your skin is dry. So before you bathe in the morning, if you, if you have your morning shower, get a, a good foot file. It can be um, sort of a, a large sort of wooden one with a handle or it can just be a metal file. Um, and file around the skin of the heel or the, or the callus itself um, before you get it wet. And this makes a really nice sort of mm. fine powder. And then after bathing, use a good moisturiser. So we normally recommend sort of a urea based cream. Um, but any, any moisturiser is good. The best moisturiser is the one you remember to use. That's a, a little trick. <laughs> um, also, a bit point with the filing. It's better to do it little and often. If, yes. you, if you do sort of load of it really aggressively, you can actually damage your skin, make it quite sore. The reason we say about not doing it after or during a bath is partly because you could slip, but also because the skin can almost sort of rip or tear. So yes. there's more information about this on the Polypedia website there. If you have a look at callus, um, have a look at heel fissures as well, and, and have a look at corns, they're all fairly similar. Yeah. Um, but if you're unsure what exactly it is that you've got, what the sort of hard skin lump is, because obviously verrucas, corns, calluses, it all sort of can be similar looking, or if it's splitting and it's causing you sort of pain or problems, it's a really good idea to, to see a podiatrist and get an assessment because there's more sort of um, in-depth assessments, treatments that we can do using a scalpel blade, which sounds a little bit scary, but it's really not that scary. Um, take it away. So. But, but also, um, your podiatrist will try and work out why that callus is built up. It might just be that you've been on a really long walking mm. holiday or something where you started running and the, the, train, the, the, the pressures have changed under your foot. But actually, sometimes there might be an orthotic insole that we can mm. uh, provide that will just take that pressure somewhere else or move the pressures or, or dissipate the pressures to pr prevent the callus from coming back. So actually, Actually, um, a podiatrist might just be a perfect person to go and see, to have it treated, get some advice about what might be causing it, and maybe it won't come back again. It might, but yeah, we do our best to help you with that. <laughs> a podiatrist is always a perfect person to see for foot problems. So, <laughs> Absolutely. The other thing that's worth mentioning is some medical conditions sort of make you more likely to develop callus. So yes. um, things like psoriasis, which can affect your skin turnover rates, um, conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, where you almost have more bony prominences under the ball of the foot, which mm. can increase pressure. And also eczema and those sorts of things, they have quite difficult um, calluses sometimes mm. and, and they're not really sure how to treat them. So go and see a podiatrist and they can advise you about the correct cream and the correct routine that's going to be best for you. And particularly if you're someone who has diabetes, um, sometimes callus can mask a more serious problem like a, an ulcer. It can sort of callus over the top. Yep. I mean, it's I know it's a little bit scary, but it's worth getting these things checked out. If you've got a build up of callus on your foot and you are diabetic or neuropathic, mm -hmm. um, i.e. you've got sort of numbness in your feet, go and get them checked out. It's even more important Very in that important. case. Absolutely. So, so yeah, Polypedia website, find a podiatrist local to you using the directory, subscribe to this video and get all our latest content as we post it, and then have a look at the website, polypedia.co.uk, tons of information on there. We'll see you next time. Thanks guys. <laughs>